Hello, everybody. We made it to Kalispell. We are at the Kalispell Fairgrounds. 25 bucks a night. We have 30 amp power, and that's it. No water, no dump. Um, I guess they have water and a dump station at the gas station across the street. But we do have plenty of room, and we are at least are able to run one air conditioner. Yeah, but 20 bucks a night. 25. 25 for yeah. just electric. I don't go for it. <laughs> or for 15 a night, you can boondock out on the grass. Or for nothing, you can boondock out in the middle of nowhere. Right. <laughs> That's whatever. Our number one goal for being here, we're going to be here for five days, is to get into Glacier National Park and see it. That'll be coming up in the next couple of days or so. Uh, right now, we are dog sitting. We have Abby here with us while uh, Robin and Troy go get some new front tires put on their smart car. And then we're going to go wear some of that new rubber off this afternoon, go drive around Flathead Lake. In the heat? In the heat. Well, hey, at least out driving around, we can stop in and try out the little local breweries and maybe some huckleberry margaritas I keep reading about and do some of that to keep cool while the rest of the place swelters. <laughs> supposed to, it's supposed to start uh, cooling off now. In the low 90s. Yeah, today's supposed to be the last over 100 yeah. day. Thank goodness. So, off we go. Yep. Well, we've made our first stop traveling around the lake. We've decided to try, to try the Tamarack Brewing Company. Now, we both have our dogs with us, um, and they're not looking too dog friendly right now. They don't have a patio or anything outside that we could sit at with the dogs, which is unusual. We've had good luck with breweries in the past. Um, they did say we could try the creek area, so Bubba just went to check that out and see if there's a place where we can put the dogs and we can still have a place to sit and maybe have a snack and figure out where we're going from here. All right, we opted for the Sidewinder Stout. It's pretty smooth. It's really good. Robin's getting a flight. In order. Okay. That was really nice of him. What in the heck did I do with it? What? Oh, God darn it. Oh, All right, I got the fish tacos. No. Got Bubba a burger. This food looks really good. Here's our next stop, M&S Meats and Jerky in Rollins. So uh, they have elk and buffalo jerky here and all different types of sausages. The guys are gonna walk the dogs and we're gonna go in and see what we can find. Come back with some meat. He's a carnivore, I figured he'd like this stop. Go get some meat, woman. <laughs> Well, that was successful. I got him some uh, elk summer sausage. We got 
coconut saltwater taffy and some cold water. So that was a successful stop right there. On to our next stop. Okay, next stop, Mission Mountain Winery. I wanna go in and see if I can find a nice bottle of wine for my stepdad for his birthday coming up. So hopefully he's not watching this. This is pretty though, it's right on the lake. Did I mention the guys are staying in the car? <laughs> Somehow they're just not finding the fun in the winery. Oh well, we won't be long. Look at wino exiting. <laughs> How's your wine there, babe? Hey, you, you heard of the getting drunk on a plane? Well, we're getting drunk. We're getting drunk in a smart car. <laughs> we're not getting drunk. I mean, for crying out loud, we're sharing all this. I mean, and that's your chocolate port. This is a chocolate port, and let me tell you, yum. Get it. So how's that? What's that? We don't. Well, one thing's for certain out here you can't beat this view with the lake and the boats and these beautiful green hills while you sit here and sip on some wine. This is a uh, right on. Actually, you should see it when I push this button I right here. You guys are. No, you don't. Oh yes, I do. You do? I do. You got that great big truck and that pretty camper. Oh my goodness! Yes. Tipsy Marlin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you done pooping yet? And I'll just, as far as this will go, <laughs> then she'll swim back. How's the water got compared to... Feet. <laughs> <laughs> I got 16 feet? Yeah. yeah I might I have to see it. Okay, drop her down. Oh, I got you, boy. She has to I'm walking a rat. Look at me. Come on, Abby. You want to come? You want to come? If I fly sat in the door, look at her. She's no, already. Right. She's already. She's like help. <laughs> I, I went to that too. That was back. great. Abby was swimming before she ever hit the water. <laughs> oh, we found a great little beach here, State Park, towards the southern end of Are the. There? the lake on the west side the water here is gorgeous it looks so refreshing i wish i brought a swimsuit i would have totally jumped in and swam for it not like the kutune oh kind of there you go pop oh, dad i'm a river runner here I, I, <clears throat> we're, we're not alcoholics. <laughs> but we are stopping at Fiesca, Fiesta and Jalisco in the town of Polston. Polson. Polson for Huckleberry Margaritas. And she thinks I'm drunk. <laughs> Let's show you drunk.
Well, they didn't have the huckleberry margaritas, but they did have huckleberry Moscow mules. And you can't beat the view from the deck here. It's pretty beautiful. lap around Flathead Lake. We're back home. It is hot. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we're back. We're back home. And <laughs> luckily, I could drive. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, it was a nice drive. Um, beautiful drive. Beautiful lake. There's a lot to do out there. Um, they have a thing called Wild Horse Island. And as you might imagine, they have wild horses on it. Back from, I guess, the days when the Indians used to keep them there to keep the warring tribes from stealing them. But you can't take dogs onto the island, so that was off. And um, Like our little dogs are really going to hurt a horse. Anyway, that's the thing. <laughs> <clears throat> and, um, then, and there's a lot of hiking trails, too, around the lake at different places. With it being over 100 degrees today, though, we opted out of hiking. You can see we chose to do drinking instead. <laughs> we didn't do that much. <laughs> she makes it sound like we sat at the bar all day and drank. We didn't. We went to the brewery and we had lunch and we had one beer there. And then we stopped at the winery and did a small tasting and then uh, that one huckleberry drink at uh, the Mexican food place. And yeah. they were spread out over the course of six, the seven, six hours. seven hours the whole day. Yeah. So it's 150 miles or so to drive the whole lake. And uh, it was nice. A nice way to spend the day. No, no, no. It was 150 miles? Something like that. So we're going to probably ought to go fill the smart car back up with gas and... Um, get to bed early tonight we're up at 4 a.m we're gonna try and get into glacier national park by before 6 a.m tomorrow because right now they're doing these timed entry tickets and if you come into the park between 6 a.m and 5 p.m you have to have purchased for two dollars one of these timed entry tickets otherwise you don't get in and they're they give out like 145 a day so they're almost impossible to get all right. Well, for now, we're going to go get cleaned up and we're going to rest for a while. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. No toothpick this morning? Not yet? Not yet. Good morning, everybody. It's O Dark 30. We're up here at Glacier National Park. Playing follow the leader. Everybody in their jackass is coming up in here. <laughs> Our plan worked though. You have to have those uh, special timed entry tickets from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. And we snuck through the gate at 5.45. We left Kalispell at five o'clock this morning to get here. So um, making our first stop, checking out the park. And we are on the going to the Sun Highway. Yeah, along with everybody else in the state of Montana. Yeah, there's a lot of people sneaking in early here. Yep. I burned out like the one to bring in. I shone bright in my journey was over. What I sought when I ran was back where I began. No matter the rain, no matter the storm, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Leave open the gates, don't turn off the light. I'm Well, I scratched in the dirt for a while. I 
gained all that I knew for a price In the end, what I found was nowhere near as nice No matter the rain, no matter the storm, I'm coming home Coming home Leave open the gate Don't turn off the light I'm coming home Though I fought with my claws and teeth Though I elbowed my way to a seat There'd be no kind of like you beside me No matter the rain No matter the storm I'm coming home I'm coming home Leave open the gate Don't turn off the light I'm coming home Nothing's as it seems in the photo Nothing is as sweet going so long Nowhere I can ramble or go Could change my mind Could slow my coming Comfortable, can't you see? We made a quick pit stop on the way back from Glacier, letting the dog make a pit stop of her own. Um, but some friends of ours back in Tucson had given us a bottle of Huckleberry whiskey that was really good and it turns out the distillery is right here so guess what we're stocking up on huckleberry whiskey oh yeah this is what we stopped for right here it's called bear proof there we go bear proof we asked if they ship it and they don't so that just means we're gonna have to circle back through here every so often and pick up more oh darn <laughs> 